The MACD is considered both a trend following indicator and a momentum oscillator. It shows the convergence and divergence of two exponential moving averages, hence its name Moving Average Convergence Divergence. To get a better view of the indicator we're using, let's change from the default layout to the chart layout. CTrader features two different MACD indicators, the MACD crossover and the MACD histogram. The two are very similar, but let's first look at the MACD crossover, which is the main MACD indicator used for technical analysis. The MACD crossover, which you can see here, plots two lines and one histogram. The MACD line is this blue line and shows the difference between two exponential moving averages. In this case, a 26 period EMA subtracted by a 12 period EMA. The signal line, which is this red dotted line here, is the EMA of the MACD line, plotted according to the past number of MACD values entered in the signal periods. Finally, the histogram shows the difference between the MACD line and the signal line. The MACD line fluctuates above and below the zero level, as the difference between the long cycle and short cycle EMAs increases and decreases. When the short cycle EMA is above the long cycle, the line is above zero, and when the short cycle is below the long cycle, the line is below zero. The MACD gives out a number of different trading signals. The most standard MACD signal is when there is a crossover between the MACD line and the signal line. This signal will also be indicated by the histogram crossing above and below the zero level. These two signals indicate a possible top and change in direction in a range market or the end of a retracement and can also indicate the end of a trend and possible reversal. A slightly more advanced signal is a divergent signal. This occurs when a trending market is making new highs or lows, but the MACD histogram is failing to make new highs or lows. This is a strong indication that a trend is exhausting. Finally, the MACD can be used to test trend strength. The bigger the difference between the short cycle and long cycle EMAs, the stronger the trend. An MACD further away from the zero level indicates a strengthening of a trend, but at the same time a very large distance away from zero may indicate overbought or oversold conditions. The second type of MACD indicator is the histogram which is almost exactly the same as the MACD crossover, but without the MACD line itself. So the indicator will plot only the histogram and signal line. 